determining unknown angles in composite figures. Okay, we're given in this problem triangle ABC. So this is triangle ABC. Triangle ABC is a right triangle. So we know that this angle is 90 degrees because it's a right triangle. We're also given side AB and side AC are equal to each other. So that we know not only is this a right triangle, but it's an isosceles triangle. So we know that these angles must also be the same. Okay, let's call these angles X. So we don't know what they are yet. They're exactly the same because it's an isosceles triangle. All right, we're also given angle ADB is 60 degrees. That's this right here. And we want to find angle DAC, okay? We're gonna slowly have to chip away at this. First off the bat, we need to solve for X. So let's find out what X is. Let's find out what these angles are. Because we have a mini triangle in here. Okay, and we want to find, ultimately, this angle, this angle, in order to figure out what this angle is going to be. All right, so plan of attack, let's find X. So X, we know that 90 degrees, okay, plus this angle and this angle, so that's 2X, that's going to equal 180 degrees. Okay, if I subtract 90 from both sides, I want to solve for X. Okay. I'm left with 2x equals 90. 180 minus 90 is 90. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I'm given x equals 45. So I know that x is equal to 45. Okay, so I'm going to draw, I'm going to take this triangle here, and I'm going to blow it up up here. Okay, so I'm going to take this triangle here, and I'm going to blow it up just to make it a little easier to see. Okay, and this is A, D, C. And we were looking for this angle. We already found this angle, it's 45 degrees. Okay, now let's find this angle. Okay, we're gonna call this angle down here, since this is this angle, angle A, D, C. All right, we know since angle A, D, C is adjacent to the 60 degree angle, we know that 60, plus y is equal to 180. If we subtract both sides by 60, we're left with y equals 120. All right, we are almost done. So we know that this angle is 120. All right, last but not least, let's call this angle z, okay? Angle DAC, angle DAC, we're gonna call it z. So we know that 120 plus 45 plus Z equals 180. If we simplify, we get 165 plus Z equals 180. And now all we have to do is subtract both sides by 165 to solve for Z, to solve for the Z letter, this variable. Okay, these go away. And I am left with Z equaling 15 degrees. Final answer, angle DAC is 15 degrees. That is this angle here. That is this angle here, okay, and also this angle here, angle DAC.